The three challenges that retailers face, I think, are the joining up of service. So we're here today talking about omnichannel. So how do you bring those things together in a truly seamless way? The second thing is to be able to take the technologies which are changing the industry as we move forward. So hyper-personalization, for example, and how do you scale that? So how do you move from a period of time when we're proving things, when we're testing things, to actually bringing it to an industrial scale fast? And the third thing is the ability to read customers better, to be able to ask really hard questions like why, and the what and the how follow that. So concern one, I think, is, is, is that challenge of how big the retail footprint is. There are too many stores, rents are too high, so there are going to have to be stores that are let go. I think the second challenge is, uh, and I hate to use the phrase because it's too, too used, but digital transformation. So making your bricks and mortar proposition digitally uh, appetite for your customers. The third challenge for bricks and mortar retailers is rent. So I think there's got to be some reviews of, of rents for retailers on the high street because this is this is crippling them you know when i look at my local high streets businesses can't stand can't stand those rents anymore there's going to have to be a review if you look at house of fraser and why good old mike ashley got it so cheap it's because those store rents were so high they were crippling some of those some parts of that store estate so i think there's a big challenge there in in terms of how much it costs to trade retail's gone through a tough time um but you're, you're entirely right if we look at for the high street retailers, retailers in particular, it's the competing around with the Amazon guys and those digital pure players. And that that is a big one. I think the second is around, you know, we're going entering into a bad time of the economy. People still need to shop. So it's actually how do you position yourself in that right way to do it? I think the third challenge for retailers now is making that right investment, making that right investment in technology, making sure that you're making the investment into your business models and staff. Number one is about uh, what does your retail environment look like? If you're an omnichannel supplier and you have a store, the current high street model is showing signs of breaking. And we've seen that with multiple businesses going out of business or, or displaying profit warnings. The cost of being on the high street, having a flagship store, multiple flagship stores, is becoming problematic. The second thing is people are focusing on, on gimmicks and principles uh, rather than actually thinking about a long-term strategy. Um, ironically, I think there's definitely a place for, for stores. Some like an Amazon, for instance, they're investing huge amounts of money into stores, but stores are the future, not stores are the present. And then the final thing is keeping up and knowing where to have the big bets. In, in the payments world, there are an endless array of alternative payment types, but you can't have all of them on displayed on your site. You have to have a select few and focus in on the ones that you know your, your current customers and the customers of the future want to take.